On November 25, 2020, many Namibian citizens who are eligible to vote are taking part in what could be the most popular by elections since 1992 in terms of voter turnout. Mike Hill, a senior citizen who casted his vote in the Windhoek East constituency, says that he had to wait close to three hours in line to cast his vote for the candidate of his choice in the 2020 regional council and local authority elections. Well, the process was a bit slow to get started. Uh, I've been here for two and a half hours, and some of my friends have been here, were here for three and a half hours. Um, so, yeah, the process was a bit slow, especially for older people. And I think that there was a bit more organisation needed to start with. It was finally sorted out and, you know, things got moving. But, yeah, there's a lesson to be learned in how to treat older people and get them through quickly. Um, but the process itself, the process of voting is easy. You just have to prove that you are a registered voter and they will put some dye on your thumbs. When your thumbs are dyed, you get your two voting papers and you vote for the people of your choice. So the process itself is easy, that goes quickly. But getting in there just took a bit too long. As the Electoral Commission of Namibia returns to the old paper ballot voting system, waiting in line to cast your vote could take much longer compared to the electronic voting system. Today on One spoke to Jessica Muyoro, a polling officer, to find out some of the challenges they may have faced to accommodate pensioners and other voters alike. So basically in the morning at around 5.30 we received our first voters which was great. So at 7 o'clock on the dot we opened and uh, the queue was very long. It's now kind of shortening a little bit. So we have assisted quite a lot of people. So, so I haven't really had any complaints. Uh, we had like a of one person that came from a different constituency but we explained to them and I have been going around the the line just to ask if everyone is at the correct places so that you send everyone early to their voting station so really no no complaints I had a lot of pensioners so if we see that the the pensioners line is getting a bit shorter this is getting a bit more then we change the ratio maybe three two so we had it under control the regional council and local authority elections have often not received as much attention as the presidential and national assembly elections in terms of voter turnout. According to the Institute for Public Policy Research, these elections are vital for Namibia's regional development aspirations as they are meant to complement the government's decentralization efforts by bringing the government closer to the people.